Hey guys, Technoman here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be comparing the iPhone 11 with the iPhone 8 in a head to head comparison where we take a look at the hardware, the software, and the overall build and quality of these two phones in 2021. Whether you're looking to upgrade from the iPhone 8 to the iPhone 11 or just in the market to compare prices and the specs and quality and features that you get out of these two phones in to compare what might be your better option for you we're going to discuss all of that but before we go ahead and get started if you guys are new to our channel we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways so make sure to hit that subscribe button also if you guys are in the market for one of these phenomenal devices at a discounted price make sure you guys check out the link in the description section so let's talk about these two phones the first thing we want to mention is the iphone 8 here released back in the 2017 was an iconic phone because of that front and back being all glass it brought in wireless charging so a lot more features comes out of it as you can see the iPhone 8 also has the iPhone 8 plus not to be confused with the regular 8 so this is the regular smaller edition of the 8 the iPhone 11 here on the other hand released in 2019 came with a lot of unique features such as the base model having two dual camera not to be confused with the iPhone 11 Pro or the 11 Pro Max which are with the ones that are upgraded those are the premium quality one the iphone 11 was sort of the cheaper model coming starting at the 599 mark of the phone where the iphone 8 here came with just this counterpart the 8 and the 8 plus so you didn't have sort of the pro model lineup it was the uh, 8 in the 8 plus what used to be the previous names for the regular uh, edition of the phones where now they call it max but these two phones the iPhone 8 here is a flagmanship phone, iPhone 11 here also sort of flagship phone but not the premium one that starts at the 1K mark and nothing about the release date and price let's talk about the actual body build of these two phones because as you can see here if you hold them side by side the iphone 11 does look really big when you compare it to the regular 8 and that's because it is it's a bigger body phone both of the phones have both front and back being all glass one thing to note about these two phones is this the similarities in the build material that Apple has used. They both use aerospace grade aluminum body to it. They're both front and back being glasses that you do have to be careful because these two phones are water resistant. They're IP rated. But the one thing we kind of want to stress out uh, that is that if front or back, either of these are cracked, water can easily get on these two phones. So it's sort of a double edged sword in a lot of ways and having a front and back being glass. You can do wireless charging, but then again, if you do drop it it's easily likely to crack the back or the front other thing you'll notice between as we mentioned here on the 8 is all that a single 12 megapixel camera versus the uh, two uh, 12 megapixel camera which look huge on the 11 of course just looking at cosmetically the apple logo what it used to be up more towards the top in the previous generation phone are now towards the middle and of course the word iPhone is no longer available or printed on the newer edition of the iPhones. Now let's talk about the display itself. Well starting with the iPhone 8 what kind of display can you expect out of the 8 here? As you can see here right off the bat it is a 4.7 display. It's a Retina HD display that is LCD. It has a 1334 by 750 pixel resolution and it has features like True Tone, white color display, 3D touch, and a, a max bright, bright init of 625. So a lot of similarities between these two phones. The one thing that isn't is the actual uh, on the iPhone 11, you have this liquid Retina HD display. It's a 6.1 display. As you can see, it's also LCD, but the resolution is a little bit higher because of that liquid Retina. You have a 1792 by 828 pixel resolution, and pretty much a lot of similarities in terms of contrast ratio. Your True Tone display, white color display. Play, even the max bright in knit of between these two phones are pretty much a similar so display wise bigger display with retina for the 11 versus non ret liquid retina on the 8 here is probably the biggest comparison you're going to want to take away from that and let's talk about the battery of these two phones as you know battery is an important aspect when talking about phones because you need a phone that gets you throughout the day and this is where video playback of these two battery comes in the iphone 11 here has almost uh close to 3100 mAh battery huge battery for a big phone that needs it because of that all screen uh, display that it has and if you talk about the battery life one thing we cannot miss is the fact that 
the battery video playback you get on the 11 is about 17 hours of video playback. So if you're just watching maybe a show on your favorite streaming app, Hulu, Netflix, whatever it is, you're probably going to get to you or close to 17 hours on a new phone that has uh, no battery health issues. The other thing to note on the 8 here, it has around 13 hours of video playback, 4 hours less, and it'll get you pretty much 3 fourths of the day where the iPhone 11 could get you throughout the whole day. This is only somewhere between a light to medium, you may be closer to a medium user, but if you're on the heavier side of the phone, do not expect either of the phones to be able to last you throughout the whole day. It just won't be possible with these two phones. So that's uh, one thing to note. And let's talk about the next aspect of these two phones is the actual performance and the chip that are on these two phones. As you know, the iPhone 8 here has a bio, a 11 Bionic chip because it was released in 2017. That was when Apple released those chip or two years later, like Apple does with its newer phone, it updates the chip to a 13 Bionic chip. What does that really mean for performance? It just simply means the iPhone 11 here is a little bit faster than the iPhone 8. How, how much faster? We're going to break that down a little bit later um, in this video. And now let's really talk about the next aspect between these two phones uh, about is the actual camera. So this is going to be important, especially if you're a photographer or just wants to, want to know between these two cameras. As you know, both of these two phones does have some phenomenal video and photography uh, capability in the photo wise because of that. Uh, lens double lens that you have because of that wider angle the iPhone 11 here is able to do that optical zoom which is impossible on the iPhone 8 here other things to note is the actual the portrait mode which is not available on the 7 you're able to do photography with the portrait mode thanks to that dual camera and more updated camera features that we get on the iPhone 11 which if you look at the 8 here it's not possible of course you have things like square that's not on the 11 that's just i don't even know who uses square anymore but that's still there in terms of video uh, recording capability both of the phones surprisingly can record in 4k at 60 frames per second so that's going to be a big factor between these two phones but the one thing we notice on the 11 is that it's extended range and things like night mode that you have that's not possible on the 8 so overall slight improvement and to the camera things like night mode features and just having that portrait mode so if you're thinking of an upgrade of a camera the iphone 11 does bring you that camera upgrade the other aspect we don't talk about is the front facing camera your selfie camera you want to be able to take some awesome selfies and which camera would you pick well let's break that down the iphone 8 here has a 7 megapixel camera where the iphone 11 was upgraded to a 12 megapixel camera slightly put it is that selfies are going to come out much better on the iPhone 11 than it would be on the 8. So if that's the main concern for you. And let's talk about the actual software of these two phones. As we know, software is a really important aspect of these two phones. And both of the phones in 2021 are able to update to the latest iOS 14 update. So that's great news for both of these two phones. And talking about software update, they're able to take the advantage of all of the features that come with the software update. You have your back tap, all these big app icons and widgets and all of that and much more, which you can find in another video we discussed. Talking about the software update is the fact that how long or how much more update is the iPhone 8 gonna get? Well, we know for sure iOS 15, which is due to come out later or end of 2021, it's going to be supported on the iPhone 8. That's great news for the iPhone 8. It's also probably going to get at least another two to three years of update. As we know, Apple generally supports its phone for a good four to five years. So expect iOS 16 and 17 on the iPhone 8 for sure that we most likely know. On the other hand, the iPhone 11 here, as you know, released in 2019 because it's only two years old expect that apple will be supporting it for another four to five years so expect it to have a life of three to four years of getting major updates so ton of life left if you're considering these two phones on the fact that you want a phone that lasts for another you know three or four years probably the 11 is what you're going to be looking at if you need a phone temporarily for another maybe two years three years um but at a cheaper discounted price, the iPhone 8 is probably what you're looking at. 
And now let's bring us to the next point and the fact that why would you buy either of the phone and is it worth upgrading from the 8 to the 11? Is it worth upgrading to the 8 to 11? Well, let's answer a couple of those questions by simply looking at why you might be buying the iPhone 8 in 2021. Well, you might be buying the iPhone 8, first thing. It's a legacy phone with that home button. So if you still miss that touch home button, which Apple is rumored to bring on on its all screen bodied iPhones that Apple has uh, mentioned because with face covering, face ID is pretty much hard to use and it makes things difficult. And sometimes you wish you had that fingerprint reader. Um, other thing to note, it's a smaller body phone. So if you have really smaller hands, you know, you don't you don't want a bigger size phone, although pretty much most of the smartphones out there are looking to get into having bigger bodied display and phones, the iPhone 8, small, compact, and it has a lot of tons of features. Of course, the other thing we might have not mentioned, if you listen carefully, if you look at the actual tech spec, is the actual microphone built between these two phones. The iPhone 8 has three microphones versus the iPhone 11, which has two. Does that really make a difference? Uh, we haven't really seen it, but there's something to really uh, mention for you guys. Of course, other thing to note is the ability of the iPhone 8 to be much, much cheaper if you look at the price comparison, you can pretty much get iPhone 8 probably under 200 or so, maybe around 250, depending on where you look at it, probably around 200. So versus the iPhone 11, which costs you around closer to 500, this, these prices are pre-owned. Of course, if you're buying it new, you have a 599 phone, the iPhone 8, probably around 3, 350 if you're buying it new. So almost half the cost, in some cases, one third the cost if you're buying it used versus new with the iPhone 11. Talk about the iPhone 11, what can you expect? Well, we all know that it does have a bigger battery, so much, much more factor comes into that. So if you're looking for a phone that's faster, as and faster than the iPhone 11 here, if we did some speed tests, we see that it almost, almost, closer to 16% faster CPU clock speed that we've seen thanks to four gig of RAM versus only two gig on the iPhone 8. Other thing to note is because of that liquid retina, as you see, the display is almost 48% higher resolution. So it's another thing to mention. And finally, that 6.1 display just looks a lot more futuristic between these two phones if you're really looking at for a phone that's really more relevant. And lastly, for those photographers out there, the iPhone 8, although it can get the job done, things like night mode, photography, portrait mode, and being able to record an extended range and being able to zoom in and out with the iPhone 11 makes it a better choice for someone looking for a camera. So in 2021, should you upgrade from the iPhone 8 to the iPhone 11? We say, yeah, go ahead and upgrade because it is really worth it if you're upgrading to a 11 or even a 12. That's probably a good choice. But if you were to look at purely on the price point and purely budget is a big question, probably the 8. It's a budget-friendly phone. It'll get you another two years out of it. But do know that the phone, because it is older, it's a little bit slower. Not by that much, but it's still pretty much be from your basic calling to your social media browsing all of that can be done on the 8 like it can be done on the 11. so there you guys have it for our review of this video if you guys have been using or upgraded from one to another leave a comment in the comment section about your experience between these two phones love to hear from you guys also if you guys haven't done make sure that that like and subscribe button to get more future tips and trick and comparison videos like this for newer phones as they come out thanks for watching guys see you guys next time